Here you go. Stupid laws. How many stores are we doing here? Oh, never mind. We might have already done five yep. or six. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's my turn to to launch. You have to into. do the thing about inviting people to like us, which you know what? Actually, if you're a math person and want to like us, that'd be good. Yeah, that would be really nice. So. If you like the show or you like the idea of the show, please like, subscribe, and uh, alter. Follow the button. I like and if, the alter better. Yeah. <laughs> change it for the better. That'd be good. <laughs> and if you have cool stories you think we should do, TITR at netradio.network. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. And thank you for your supportage. Short, sweet, to the point. Early this year. I'm sorry. Let me try it again. Already this year. There we go. Representatives of a fictional country called the United States of Kielasa. United States of Kielbasa? Kielasa. K-A-L-A-S-A. K-A-I-L-A-S-A. Kielasa. Wow have participated in two meetings at the United Nations, according to Oddity Central. <laughs> founded by, I say founded by Indian fugitive and Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, uh, Nithyananda Parmashivam. Oh, that's like Smith in their okay. language. Mr. Smith, the virtual nation claims to be a sovereign state for Hindus who have been, quote, persecuted for over decades. In January, the United States of Kailasa suggested it had been officially recognized by the United States of America uh, through a sister city agreement with Newark. You knew New Jersey had to be involved here somewhere. <laughs> Hang on. There's a garbage collecting contract in there somewhere. <laughs> U.S. U.S. authorities, oddly enough, rescinded the arrangement. <laughs> Ah. A, U, a U.N. representative explaining the country's access by saying the meetings are, in fact, open to the public. <laughs> Fun. Doesn't take much to be your own country anymore, does it? Stupid laws. And I want you to understand that in order for any of these laws to be enacted, something had to happen. These well, are all something that responded to a need or a perceived need. So in Michigan, it's illegal to paint sparrows and sell them as parakeets. That just seems right. Although I'm trying to think. Actually, I have two really big, who would ever do that and who would buy what you did? In Minnesota, our home state, oh, a person may not 10,000 stupid. A person may not cross state lines with a bird atop his head. I am going to change my chapeau when I'm driving just to screw with them. No, no. I'm going to put a, the other bird, a bird bird, oh. like a sparrow painted to look like a parakeet. I so mean, like, both actually like a picture of Mark Fidrich would be okay. <laughs> Fidrich. Mark Fidrich. Bird. Google it. Detroit name was bird. It was the bird in Arizona. You have a picture of Larry, but that'd be kind of. <laughs> yeah. Just gilding the lily. I think at that point. In, <laughs> there will be no lily gilding in Minnesota, I'm just saying. In Arizona, you may not have more than two dildos in a house. What if it's a big house? <laughs> what if they use an outhouse anywhere? I mean, like, what if it's, like, second floor for basement? There's a lot of steps to climb. Also in Arizona, it's illegal for... A donkey to sleep in a bathtub. Well, that only makes sense, jackass. You go tell him. Not me, <laughs> stubborn little SOB. In Alabama, it's illegal to wear a fake mustache that causes laughter in a church. <laughs> Honestly, most churches I know could use a little more laughter. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not now not with the fake mustache. That's just wrong. <laughs> in California, a frog that dies during a frog jumping contest cannot legally be eaten but you could illegally well do you realize if you just all you have to do is is snip the, the frog's vocal cords yeah and he would never die because he, he couldn't can't croak. croak 
God Almighty. Yes, he is. Oh. Oh. And just remember, all these dad jokes are free. One more. Okay. Oh. Tony. A flamboyant woman named Ashley Cream went before the Boca Raton Planning and Zoning Board in March with a pressing concern. She wanted to make March 10th Sugar Daddy and Mommy Appreciation Day. Oh, I like her. I think I do, too. (laughs) WFLA-TV reported that that Cream, accompanied by an elderly man in a wheelchair, of course, started her appeal by telling board members that they are looking absolutely fabulous and a little bit serious. Oh, this can't go off. She went on to say that sugar daddies and mommies are, quote, responsible for college educations, cars, homes, rents, jets, Birkin. Birkin? They're very, ex- they're very expensive bags. Oh. And the occasional body enhancement when needed. Though she claimed to be all natural as she gestured gestured towards a part of her anatomy that could have possibly been augmented. Mm-hmm. Uh, Councilman Arnold Seville replied that her idea is a city council issue. She and her companion left the planning and zoning board meeting. <laughs> zoning. I am. I am. This is a sugar I daddy zone. There is so <laughs> sugar mama zone. Remember when we thought sugar daddies were just that weird, caramely, sugary, sweet treat you got in the little yellow bags? I loved those. And I especially loved sugar babies because you didn't have to deal with the stick. Yep. But the parents would come around once in a while. Yeah. Uh Yuba City, California officials have agreed to pay close to $20 million to settle a lawsuit by a man left paralyzed after being slammed to the ground by police after a traffic stop. This is outrageous. And I saw the video for it. And he kept complaining, I can't feel my legs. The cops made fun of him. They didn't take him to the hospital. They stuck him in a holding cell and made fun of him from their behind their desk. Pretty sure in this day and age, that's not your best play. According to his lawyer, Gregory Gross cannot walk or use his hands and now requires 24 day uh, nursing care. 24 hour a day. Only 24 days? Yeah, no, only 24 hours. So like six or seven days of the year of the month, he's just kind of left to fend for himself? No, 24 hours a day. Got it. Including leap year. Police had stopped Gross for suspicion of drunk driving. And so if you're born on leap day... Do you only age once every four? I would. So I would tell everybody my my action, my age based on that. I'm 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. Hey, so we'd only be like six. Is that true? Right? Every four, four into six would be. With 100. No, we'd be able to. Days. Four into six would be In one. November. And then four into 15 then, would be. We'd be like 17. If you cross the flea circus with uh, a dog, dog circus park. yeah what do you and get but mayhem 58 exactly right very good thank you thank you dear anyway um police body cam video showed gross already in handcuffs crying out in pain as an officer twisted his arms it later showed officers slam him to the ground and hold him face down on the ground and it showed officers mocked him as he called out that he could not breathe and could not feel his legs and I'm hoping the the entire publishing company of the book that they're going to throw at him comes along with it. And they all bring their own book. I'm right. Wow. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network. <laughs>